August 22nd, the Mount Hoare Barnevelt Vikings travel to Monona Grove for the 2014 high school football season opener. The much anticipated matchup between the reigning state champion Silver Eagles and Vikings did not disappoint in the 90 degree August heat as both teams lit the field with fierce offense attacks. The Silver Eagles scored first on a dive into the end zone by number three, Zach Stinson. After a Drew Shukart extra point, it was 7-0 Silver Eagles. After a Viking safety during the following ensuing drive, Viking quarterback Max Mailer threw an interception that resulted in a touchdown by Silver Eagle linebacker Tanner Dahlhauser. With an extra point, it was 14-2 Monona Grove. Vikings then scored a touchdown of their own on this pass to Cole Brewer. After a successful two-point conversion, it was 14-10 Silver Eagles. The Silver Eagles came out in the second half and scored on the ground again with a touchdown from running back Torin Young to make the score 20-10 Manola Grove. The Vikings then answered back with a rushing touchdown of their own from quarterback Max Mailer to make the score 20-16, Silver Eagles. Before the end of the third quarter, Mount Horb got into the end zone again to make the score 20-23, Vikings. In the fourth quarter, the Silver Eagles took command again, scoring with Torin Young to make the score 27-23, Silver Eagles. The Vikings rallied back with a score from Wyatt Thompson to put Mount Horeb on top, 27 to 29. The Silver Eagles struggled to rally back one last time through the air, but time ran out, making the final score, 27 to 29, Mount Horeb Barneville. Next week, Monona Grove travels to DeForest to face the Norskis. So, just to sort of start out, what are your thoughts on tonight's game? Uh, I think it was a bit sloppy on our part. Uh, you know, first games, uh, you know, it gives you a little bit of indication on what you need to work on and get better at. And we as coaches got to do a better job of getting these kids prepared. So, we, we got some things we definitely need to work on. Looking at that safety in the first half, it ends up kind of being the difference. Does that weigh on you at all, or is that just really a non Yeah, I don't think so. Um, you know, I mean, we had some chances to make plays down the stretch, and you know what? And sometimes they happen, and sometimes they don't. That's just part of sports. So I'm not, uh, you know, I'm. Uh, it's just, it's just the way it goes. Uh, I'm proud of our kids. They're great kids. They play hard. You know, you, you, you know, it's just tough to lose like that. That's all. Are there any players that stood out to you as having really good nights? I think Tanner Dahlhauser had a great night. I think Zach Stinson always plays hard. Nick Meyer, I mean, we had a lot of, we had, you know, Torrin, Steven, all, I, we had a lot of guys play hard. You know, it was a real hot night and we we're asking some guys to go both ways, you know, like Trey went hard and Jackson and, you know, he just, uh, it just wears you down, this, that, that heat did, so. But that's, that's on them too, and I know that they were getting, you know, same thing, so. But, oh well. So looking ahead to next week, how do you rebound from, you know, your team's first loss in a year? Well, you got to make sure you, you know, you uh, get back to work and, and focus on the things that we can control. And, uh, you know, and, and, and one of them is, uh, you know, know our assignments and play hard and, and uh, you know, play smart football. So, uh, you know, that's something we'll try, we'll, you know, got all, a week to, to work on, to, to work on some of these things, so. All right, thanks coach. Thank you.